Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at one of Jada's new Batmobiles from their Metals line. This is one of four Batmobiles that they've released in this 124 scale. They all do come with this little bit die-cast figure. It's scaled pretty well. It is all die-cast except for the uh, cape. This is obviously of the Michael Keaton Batman from 1989. The little figure is pretty nice. I think the eyes are a little bit too widely just blank white and I think the belt is a little too gold on this one. I don't know. I feel like the belt on this was a lot more yellow unless of this kind of gold bronze color but it's a very nice figure and it makes for a nice display piece but obviously if you're buying these it is more for the Batmobile itself. This is a 124 scale Batmobile. Metal body plastic base has rubber tires but you can see that's just a plastic base down there. This is definitely one of my favorite Batmobile designs. This one just really had a very, like, fast, elegant, exotic look to it. Now they're just far into the, too much into the, uh, like, militaristic type Batmobiles, and that's just really not my thing. As far as details go, this has a bunch of them. I mean, as far as painted details, there's really not much. You see the headlights are painted in the kind of engine piece in the middle. is kind of in a gunmetal gray. There are the little bats on the wheels. Some silver detail on the side. You do have the fuel ports in silver. And again, the back, the little exhaust pieces are in silver and the tail lights are in red. Well, this does have a few opening pieces. You see this back piece does open to reveal the jet engine in the back. That's a nice touch. And you can see you can actually flip out the machine guns in the front on both sides. They're a little looser than I would want them to be because they don't really stay in place too well. But they're there if you want them. And the cockpit, as you probably saw in the beginning, does actually slide open. So you can have it open and you can have Batman standing out like I did in the start of this video. And that makes for a very awesome looking display. You know, that's kind of how you want a Batmobile displayed. These retail for about $20. I found mine at Walmart. I got three of the four that are out. I didn't find the fourth one, but I don't know if I'm going to get the fourth one. But I'll probably review all three of these just because I am a Batman fan. So these are very nice. I mean, obviously, some people, there's plenty of other Batmobile diecast out there you can get if you're really picky. Like Hot Wheels made a 118 scale Michael Keaton Batmobile that's really detailed and very nice. If you want some comparisons for whatever reason, here it is next to a Hot Wheels 150 scale Batmobile. You can find this one in stores right now. And here it is next to a 164 scale Hot Wheels Batmobile. This is from the Retro Entertainment line. So, you know, if you really like this Batmobile, there's plenty of these out by now. Like, you don't have to be like, which one's... I just can't find one. I don't know what to get. I really like this Batmobile, and but I just can't find a die cast of it. Because all three of these are in stores at this very time. So... You see this uh, 150 Galaxy does have a opening, <laughs> like, cockpit, too. Same kind of thing where it has, like, a little bit of a gap there, and it just kind of slides forward. So they kind of copy that from them. This one isn't really perfect, because this one was kind of made for the track. So, you know, it's a little bit higher up in the front end. It's a little bit skinnier to fit in the tracks. Not sure I think about the gold rims, either. Like, why did you have to give it shiny gold rims, Hot Wheels? I mean, I don't know. Silver rims would look much better, but whatever. Like I said, if you want this, you can easily go to Walmart right now and get it. I mean, I'm sure it's a little bit rare right now because I've only seen this once. The only one I've seen more than once is the Adam West Batmobile, which we'll probably also take a look at. But like I said, these are nice Batmobiles and a nice cheap way to get some Batmobile die cast in your collection. But I think that's your intelligence to say. This has been a review of Jada's Metals Batmobile. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.